hi everybody this is Pramita here uh, this is going to be a very quick flip through of my August journal uh, because I had not done any flips during the month of August I was very busy and as you can see all things are you know plopped around my table uh, this is a new filming situation once again and I was very uh, unhappy with the natural lighting stuff so I tried to switch things up a bit so anyways let's get down to business so this was actually a coco daisy uh, standard size insert um, what i did was uh, i took off the staples i restitched them with a number of extra pages um, different types of cardstocks and um, dashboards and uh, you know other coordinating papers some that we received in our subscription and some that were already lying in my stash so let me go through it very quickly the inserts come with a craft cover i have just covered it up with a yellow tissue paper and i have made a pocket in front i'm going to show you how uh, this was an idea from the junk journal ladies vintage style i think they often add a pocket on the cover of the insert and I love the idea so what I did was this was a, a dashboard in the personal size and it had a sonnet by Shakespeare so I have used that as a pocket and as you can see you can put stuff inside it pretty well and I've stuck it with glue stick of course and just added a few washi to you know give it a pop of color this was a, a charm that we got in our subscription and a small lace because I made uh, it look like a tag sort of thing so that was that and in the inside you have one pocket I have taken out the stuff that was inside it and now it's empty of course uh, this was a personal size dashboard and I have turned it into a tag as you can see I have attached that with a bit of washi uh, not all the pages are stitched in this insert the basic pages are stitched and some are just uh, added with the help of washi or clear tape so at the back of the stag it was empty so I added this I don't know from where my friend uh, sent this um, I, I don't know the source of this but uh, my friend in, who lives in France had sent me these a bunch of uh, mixed media sort of cards I love them to bits and these are some journaling washi that I have recently bought from a shop called Art Atelier I'll put a link to that shop below they give awesome deals and um, uh, this is once again a cane company paper pad fussy cutter flower as you know I love their uh, florals and this is the way I journaled and these are some butterfly washi from the same shop uh, on this page I'm going to do this very quickly uh, on this page I've used a book page of a gnarled tree this is a stamped out image and I've just used a little bit of watercolor to give it a pop because I found that um, something uh, of a spark was missing from this page so I wanted to put this and this is a uh, butterfly from butterfly image from fussy cutout page of Heidi Swap collection I'm not sure of the exact collection but I love this image uh, and uh, this is um, a project life card and I've added once again an asymmetrical uh, hanging sort of die cut two die cuts just glued together and stapled over here and I've journaled at the back. Uh, this is a paper that we got from Coco Daisy. This was not big enough to be a standard size page, so I used it anyway. Uh, and this is one page. I have stamped out some words on patterned cardstock paper and I've just added them. Uh, this is also a stamp, and over here I had messed up the stamping and I used a journaling portion of washi once again from our atelier you'll see whatever washi I've used basically are either from Coco Daisy or from our atelier and only a few perhaps from my stash because I'm trying to use up a lot of washi because 
I do have a lot of washi and it's not good. It's not healthy. You know, you should use up stuff. Uh, this was a journaling card and actually the, these were pretty flimsy. So what I did was I glued two pieces together and made it into a sturdy card. I've added washi and attached it over here. On this page I've not done much. This was a mistake because I had made this page a little bit... Uh, not quite up to the size. So to create an illusion of sorts, I punched out the edge because that's what I found would give you an illusion of, um, uh, you know, the pages of same size or it wouldn't bother any more as much as it would have been if it were crooked. So that's what I did. And uh, I just journaled on the jaggedy bits that you can see over here. And on this page, this is a die cut from... Uh, project life and I have made it into a flip this flips like this and this is a Maggie Holmes acetate piece I think from cute girl I'm not sure uh, so I've used that and these are just some bits of paper this is a from a 6 by 6 paper pad cut out portion and this is a tissue paper from Coco Daisy and this is a tuck spot that I have used a small journaling bit in I'm going through this very quickly. As you know, I have done quite a few flips. Uh, these are just a bunch of washi that I have put down and I made a cluster with doily, bits of doily, uh, a die cut from Coco Daisy and stuff like that. So um, this is a dashboard. I have, uh, what I've done is I've used a wrapping paper on the side. I've journaled on this. And on this side, I didn't do anything. I just left it bare. This was a pattern paper. Uh, I thought they coordinated pretty well. And I filled up the empty spaces, spaces with distress stains. And just stuck a small die cut page mark sort of thing from Coco Daisy. And these are some book pages I have used. Because I found that yellow was the theme that was speaking to me. And I used these book pages that were sent to me by my awesome friend Terry. Uh, on this page I've just used a bunch of sorry a bunch of wrapping papers. These were all sent to me by my dear friend Sylvia who lives in France. Um, and this is from Project Life paper bag. Uh, what I've done is I've made it into a hidden pocket sort of thing. You can put stuff inside. I've just stuck this with bits of washi. And this page I didn't do basically anything. I just wrote 10 facts about my sun sign or zodiac sign. Uh, this page is once again yellow that was speaking to me. And I've used a little, little bit of distress stains over here. But this is actually a tissue paper bit that I have also used on the cover. Um, these are book pages. This is from Terry and this is from Elizabeth Wallace. Never Hopeless by Elizabeth. She too has a YouTube channel. And on this day, a dear, dear lady, Margaret Gorski, she mailed me. She wanted to become a pen friend of mine. I'm so grateful. And she wanted to send me some stuff. And uh, that's what I wrote over here. It's like a small linnet. Linnet is a singing bird. Uh, if I don't know if you uh, if you are aware of the story of Selfish Child by Oscar Wilde, um, over there uh, Jesus has been um, I think there was this bird no okay so in that in that story there is uh, the mention of a linnet singing in the giant's garden and that's that linnet. Uh, and it's actually, a, you know, a, a sort of a messenger of good news. So that, that was one of the reasons why I used this. And I was, uh, once again, these are all from Kane Company paper pad. This is from washi tape I got in a happy mail. This is a simple stories uh, die cut, cut out portion. And this page, okay, so this is a flip. Uh, I have this these florals. I wanted to copy these florals basically and I tried to do so. I don't know if it has worked out well or not. Uh, I just tried to emulate whatever is there on this page and hand lettered Tuesday with watercolor and 
yeah so that's that and on this page I have journaled once again um, and this page okay I didn't do much on this page I just doodled around some boxes I made them look like fish tank and added a few fish stickers this was actually a packaging a package bag sort of thing and I had put this tag inside it this just had two quotes nothing much and uh, this was a dashboard and what I did was I fussy cut the sunflower out I cut out the quote that accompanied it and I stuck it over here these are some stickers from simple stories and this is actually a flip and I've journaled on the back this page I've not done anything this is from a children's book page I have cut out the border and the image of a small boy and this is a die cut uh, this is on Saturday I used the same book page image I had a few left so I've used that and I've journaled over here this is a tag I have used some watercolor pencils to color it up and stuck a few you know die cuts that came in the Coco Daisy kits um, so that was that and this was actually um, this was actually uh, some portions from Coco Daisy papers that I have just put them down plopped them and this is the book page border basically I have not done much on these pages I have just plopped down some images or paper scraps and die cuts that's what I love to do. Um, this is an asymmetrical sort of hanging uh, page that I've made out of journaling card. And once again, I've made a cluster of uh, random stuff. This was from a bit of a page I had left. I don't throw away my scraps. I keep them and I try to use them as much as possible. And uh, this was a diaper from Coco Daisy. So over here, I have added a small tag, cool for summer. Uh, this is from Simple Story Summer Collection. As you can see, I have just added some uh, papers, collaged it, you know, layered them up. That's the thing I like to do best. Um, and same thing over here on this page. I've just collaged a little bit of papers with irregular age edges. And on Friday, I didn't do much. I was very busy. So what I did was I added an acetate, this is from Maggie Holmes and I've just put down the highlights of the day. I didn't have the time to write. Uh, this was a Saturday and it was my husband's birthday so I had stuck this um, tag uh, with a picture of a cupcake, happy birthday and once again I've done a bunch of layering over here one after the other. This is a packaging and these are just some stickers, die cuts. This is a punched out butterfly and that's what I did. This is from She Bloom's collection. I've just fussy cut out the flower portion and I've added a few stickers. I've journaled on the sides. That's it. And over here I have painted the back of the journaling cards and layered a bunch of stuff. Uh, similar things over here as you can see and uh, this is from an older dashboard which had this cute quote show your true colors I thought this would go pretty well with this so I recycled it as usual uh, recycled it into a journaling card sort of thing and I wrote on this side uh, this is a tag I added uh, this says snuggles are my favorite and uh, this is a mason jar that I've journaled at the back. This is a small pocket and this is a packaging once again. Uh, this is, okay, also we come towards the end and uh, what I've done is I've basically plopped down some sticky notes and journaled on those spots. And that's that. Uh, so this is also, you know, I've used random bits and pieces that were left after making the journal. I just used them up. I really wanted to use every bit that I had uh, so that was that and this is the end of the journal I did make a pocket but I didn't use it that much so bye bye for now hope I'll be back for another another flip for September bye